four of these sets now. <laughs> I remember mean, each one, each, each one. one individually. They take up so much space. Right. It's not hard to find. I just sort by total amount of space. <laughs> In your brain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could that be insane? You could search like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Already. Oh, I. All right. That was an interesting, interesting setup, interesting Honestly, situation. Honestly, that wobble was so fast, we didn't even have a wobble yeah. cam prepared for it. Not even time. <laughs> he, he, oh, oh, no. All right, we'll see the blizzard setup. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he messed it up. Yeah, I believe you can mash out of that at zero. Um, I taught Hi-Fi everything he knows about mashing. Oh, it's, really? Yeah, yeah. So there's a strat, actually. While, while we're, you know, in this slower matchup, uh, you actually VOD study mashing. You just hold a controller, it doesn't need to be plugged in. Yeah. You watch an ICs fight your main, and every time it looks like they're about to wobble, you just go wild on oh, your controller. Oh, that's genius. That's how I that's, genius. that's how I became the mash god. Yeah, NC. yeah. So, uh... Because you had the, uh, when you, in your, one of your sets on stream, you had an insane mash out, which <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't yeah. believe. Uh, mashing out of sheet grabs is something Marv should never do, but sometimes they let you do it. Oh. They just let you do it. <laughs> it's on them. Alright, but yeah, um... Yeah, traditionally these sets have gone in Sharks' favor, especially in NC. But uh, Hi-Fi tends to clutch it out a lot, too. I know Dare to Dare ended with that up till rest. Yeah, yeah, incredibly clutch. And uh, you will you will not see a whole lot of work from Sopo in these. Generally, Sopo Puff, not a very favorable matchup. Right. Um, and I'm sure Hi-Fi wants even, to make sure. Even more so with Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi, yeah. uh, very experienced. In okay, we're starting. Sopo. We're starting to see a hi-fi answer back a good yep. bit. There's that uh, there's that rising pound. Uh, not shield grabbable. It has to be bared out of shield typically. Oh. But uh, somehow finds a grab. I'm trying to replay that scene in my mind and I don't really know how that grab happened. <laughs> that was that was kind of just one of those ones where you're like, I'm uh, I'm gonna grab. I'm mashing the A button, holding the holding the triggers and mashing. So you're you're gonna go back and uh, watch this for VOD analysis. Yeah, yeah, and you're gonna exactly. practice your mash. Uh, no, it's got to be your main. It's your really main. important oh, okay, okay. because it's all about the pre-mash. Right. It's, uh, you know. Right, right. Very, very specific. Before you cook, you gotta, you gotta pre-mash. Oh no. Uh, probably still with the Nana kill. Oh, oh what? the roll, <laughs> clutch roll. Nana trying to shield drop. <laughs> Does uh doesn't need to clean that one up though. Not used to it yet, you know. Need, yeah, need, need some yeah. practice for sure. Nana, Nana needs UCF, and even still. Ooh, I think there was a kill in there, but definitely a mix-up. Yeah, he went for a couple of mix-ups that didn't quite pan out each time. But he still got the damage, which is important. Well, and that's kind of like that low-tier thing, too. You know, right. where they're just like, they don't have what? the guarantees. Yeah, he does that uh, wave dash through grab, where he's still facing uh, away. Yeah. It's wild. I don't know. Icy butt grab is... Makes me jealous. But yeah, yeah you're saying. I don't remember. Oh, Whoa, the, the, look the, 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 the getting the damage is good enough uh, for a lower tier character. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like Sopo, you know, they they don't have the guaranteed stuff, so they gotta go for like one, two, three, four, <laughs> fifty fifties or something oh. like that. Yeah, trying for the near rest. Uh, oh. I've been talking to Hi-Fi about that lately. Mm -hmm. At these high percents, he's trying to go for it more. You know. Right. You're you're probably gonna die to a straight hit anyways. Might as well. Go for maximum risk reward. Makes sense. And if you kill the Nana, you know, then you have an easier time the next stock, you, you, especially with Hi-Fi's Sure, ability. sure. <gasps> All right. All right. <laughs> you know, you'd think, you'd think that's just a noob killer. I've seen Tyler hit that on multiple, multiple top 100 puffs. I guess they don't expect it, right? Yeah. Oh, this doesn't work on puff. I never have to deal with this. You'd, oh, be, no. you'd be surprised. <laughs> Jerry, two Saint, they both fall to the down throw down air. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, that's that's something worth mentioning as well. Is, uh, Tyler, or Sharks, typically very favored against Puff. Hi Fi really one of the ones he struggles with the most, actually. Since beating, uh, beating Jerry at the script and being up 3 1 now on two Saint. Wow. That's, yeah. that's actually incredible. Yeah. Definitely uh, one of his favorite matchups. I find this really interesting because Hi-Fi has adopted this uh, circular uh, move around the stage in a circle pattern, mm -hmm. trying to force Sharks to commit in some way so he can find an opening. Yeah. And it's been sort of successful, actually. Uh-huh. And this is also one of those, like, multi-step play things. 
great uh, great down smash from Sharks, where they're both so used to how the other plays. Right. Uh, Sharks super prepared for that style. He'll bring out the ice blocks and kind of force Hi-Fi to land and uh, just really, really punish him hard when he does. Uh, fun fact, we still have not gotten Sharks' recursion jersey. Oh, yeah. That is indeed Brian Buckley's. <laughs> Just don't look at the back, you know? <laughs> don't look at the back side. That's fine. why he was wearing the bomber earlier. He, uh, he was like, I'll, I'll hide it with uh, my new recursion merch. <laughs> Which you can get at the, the Comendium, <laughs> you know? Smash G. Sponsored. Oh, no. I, I do really do appreciate just how uh, careful Hi-Fi is with a lot of things, right? Absolutely. He's, he's always trying to make sure that um, He's really precise with where he places his, aer his aerials. Because one of Puff's big weaknesses is that when Puff lands an aerial, there's lots of L cancel yeah. lag. Uh, and then Puff's jump is kind of slow. Ooh, I like oh, the no. grab, but Sharks reads the roll afterwards. Definitely super punishable. Important to grab Popo in those scenarios because then you then you get a lot more mileage. You know, right. you can force Popo away and then deal whatever you want to Nana. Usually, wanna if you if you get a grab on. Sometimes if you get around with Popo, uh, the Climber can't control Nana as well, mm -hmm. so you gotta do something quickly, which is Yeah, it's important. Good. That's something I've learned a lot from playing Sharks, is that it's really important to not pummel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you grab Popo, because that gives him the opportunity to control Ooh. Nana. Great rest. Uh, Sharks oh, impressed no. as well. Oh, but no. yeah, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, the mid-game analysis. Sharks Taking beat. a break, take a look. Oh, this is so perfect. I've been watching so much StarCraft lately. <laughs> That was some low APM, like, I, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie, but uh, I think we all know why. Mm -hmm. At least Hi-Fi's got some resources left, you know, he's got enough uh, to turtle up maybe a little bit, make a comeback somehow. God, those ice blocks when uh, Hi-Fi's cornered underneath the platform are so, so good, because the mallet has a hitbox. Right, right, right. It's absurd. They well, thought of everything. So one of the things is uh, Puff in general. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, all right. Okay. That was an opportunity for a kill there, actually. He got the uh, he got the 25%. Realistically, 50, but that's really hard. Right. Uh, well, Puff in the corner, they do try to stay around the edge of the platform so they can edge cancel, land on the platform if they're in a, in a tight spot. Oh, they can retreat to ledge, right? It's a pretty mm -hmm. powerful position for Puff to be in. Sure. But those ice blocks are making it really difficult for Hi-Fi to stay there. Right. This should be a Nana kill, but no, Nana gracefully weaves her way through uh, that puff wall of bear. The clutch Nana. This Nana's been pretty clutch. I yeah, don't know. no. Definitely MIT level Nana. It's good. More women in STEM. <laughs> hey, we're at a university. Yeah, no, you're right. You know? You're right. We are at the... Uh, <laughs> it's progressive. I do appreciate it. Oh, but... Uh, uh, oh my god. Oh my god, again. Uh, he he's got his setups, but yeah. Uh, definitely a weird percent. Man, Shark's really starting to run away with this game. Yeah. It's really hard for Puff to come back in these scenarios. You know, she can't really force the situation. She's uh, She's got to hope that, that Ices does it. Right. And I, I, I'm okay with uh, High Fight not getting the edge guard there, because he knows he's not going to take too much percent. Mm -hmm. He's done this dance too many times. Ooh, but maybe, oh. maybe he is going to take too much yeah, percent. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Okay, great, okay. great follow-up from Sharks. 50, though. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, there are <laughs> the ice blocks again. Just hits them. So it's become a kind of a different... Uh, oh, no! Mm, yeah, no. I, You can definitely react to that. But he didn't get the double up smash because Nana kind of lagging behind. Yeah. Needs a new modem or something. <laughs> We're, we're All right, at. forcing sharks into the corner. There's the knockdown. Oh! Oh! All right, that's that BB tag stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's BB that. BB. I'm in lag, so I'm oh, gonna call yeah. in my assist. That was that was. Oh no. That this was really is, important though. This is why you play other fighting games, guys. <laughs> oh boy. Sharks been playing a uh, uh, unit straight. Yeah. yeah. No, no assist there, unless you play the uh, the puppet character. Does he? Okay. Uh, he does not. Oh, okay. He plays Lene because of her comfy tights. So, shout out to all my Lene fans in the chat. <laughs> I'm not kidding, by the way. I, I, I know, that's why it's even better. <laughs> it's even better that I know you're not kidding. 
All right. D D D D D. D D D D. Wrong game. Too much ultimate. I know Shark's been doing well ultimate as well. Yep. Yeah, so that's good. Not nearly as good night. No wobbling in ultimate. That's all I gotta say about Sharks' results in ultimate. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, uh, I'm just watching the brackets, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh man, the, he stepped up the ice block game to another level. That was actually probably too many ice blocks. Yeah, yeah. But you know, to be fair, uh, previous game as well, High Five's been kind of letting him. Absolutely. Because like you said, Puff has some trouble forcing the issue. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, calls out the fair. That's a dead Nana. And oh. potentially an edge card? Yeah, Nana and Tumble. Can't save her. Yeah. All right. Losing the lag from that ice block to get that back here. I've been doing my Icy's research, man. Oh, yeah? Icy's are only secondary to uh, Peaches and complaining about commentary about their character. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've been watching the discourse. Okay, <laughs> I think that's it's, it's, it's a valid point though, right? To be f yeah, no, absolutely, and I've learned a lot from sharks. Uh, my no peaches here today, thankfully. <laughs> my peach knowledge severely lacking, being in North Carolina. <laughs> we have not seen a peach here in some time. Willie P, actually, the last peach I saw. And then didn't he move? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. came here. He came here this weekend. Though, yeah, yeah. So it was cool to see him. Okay, that's good. Uh, he does make it back, but this is. You know, as Icy as you're just kind of, you're yeah, hoping. You're hoping for sure. <laughs> and he does make it back. Potentially lots of damage. Oh! oh! The charge. Oh, man. But that's also that low tier stuff. Right. No. Puff just floats on in on top. Nothing you can do about it. Just got to let him. This has become kind of interesting because um, Shark's been really trying to beat out Hi Fi in that. The corner position on the platform, right? Almost like this, this match almost too aggressively so. Mm -hmm. But I've had a bunch of answers that uh, are taking advantage of the fact that Shark is leaving center stage and things like that. Absolutely. And uh, this uh, this would be important. Get high five some momentum. I don't believe we've ever seen a reverse 3-0 in uh, these two matchups. Oh but, really? Uh, we've come close. I know high five has been a stock away before. No follow up off the drill. Uh, that's all right. He drifts away to safety, so just missing out on a little percent. I like the fact that uh, Hi-Fi was okay with retreating to the ledge there, too. Just, oh, I, you know, I can't get past these climbers just now, so I'll wait a little bit. Give myself some yeah, time. Wait, wait for sharks to make the mistake. And that's usually how these games go, you know, right. where, all right, someone gets a lead, and if the other person can't find the momentum in time, <laughs> yeah. they get stuff like that. They just get stuff like that. That's one, I think that's one of my favorite parts about watching Hi-Fi. He's so good at reading roll or like reading you know, tech roll in. Oh, it's ledge. terrifying playing him. He'll uh, he'll get that drill on Marth, and it's the same situation where you're like, all right, I've got three options here, and he knows which one I'm going to do every single time. <laughs> and I don't know how, but uh, he's he's so fantastic at like that multi-set play. Definitely a, a scary local competitor, you know. For sure. And he, and not to say he's not out of state, but uh, right, right. locally it's oh just no. something else. Oh, well. High five right. answering right back. It's a chance. We'll uh, probably going to see the FD pick, but I, it's usually how these set goes. I'd imagine so. Yeah. Yep, uh, there it is. Instantly. Not even a, not even a question. Every, every ICs has had their, their bad moments on FD, so not out of the question for sure. I know hi is definitely beating them on this stage. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's kind of tough for the weight-based throws because Puff has really low weight. Uh, zero weight, actually. Ooh. Every time you see Icy get that jab, you're... I, I start mashing my invisible controller. Yeah. I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's back to the VOD study. Just your hands are moving. You know? I, I'm not lying. This is a real an issue I have. I have phantom mashing. You're, uh, <laughs> I have a phantom limb. You're gonna <laughs> and I'm pressing it. I'm pressing that A button as hard as I can oh, on that phantom that? limb. Wow. Wow, that, that, that was a solid, solid conversion. From I, can, I, I can just imagine you on your deathbed, you know, just like <laughs> you just hear like the, you, you know, someone, you hear the pummels. The pummel, and you're like, <gasps> oh, your oh. hands just start <laughs> shaking, you know. Uh, yeah. Knock, knocks you out of your it's coma. It's not even, it's not even the deathbed. I'm in the casket. <laughs> the body's involuntarily moving. <laughs> it's like those bugs when you start prodding those, their brains or something. It's oh, just like, man. oh my god, I need to mash. Dude, that's I'm a... so scared. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's uh, there's no feeling like getting that start to the wobble. Yeah, yeah. I've sure. played other competitive games. There's nothing like it. Oh! <laughs> that was almost atrocious DI, but uh, almost. that was almost that two saint DI. This is if you've, a... <laughs> if you've oh, watched no. Dream Hack Atlanta. Oh boy. Wow, it, honestly, Shark Sopo putting in work on FD of all places. It, and he was putting in work on Battlefield too. It's yeah. just, it's, it's a set maker. This is Shark Sopo, that's Falco up air. We're seeing the set makers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's made a big <laughs> difference, right? He's got so much damage to the point that uh, as soon as he's back, yeah. Hi-Fi has to be really careful about a lot of things. Ooh, oh, my God. I can't believe that connected. That was actually wild. Um, yeah. And this is not the position you want to be in as Hi-Fi, obviously, where... Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, maybe, maybe being scared off a little bit by those missed, uh, missed up tilts on, uh, where they start? Yoshi's? Yeah, where, um, he missed up tilt rest. Get punished for it, so. Start second guessing some of your setups. Yeah, that confidence. You have to believe you have the right to win. Wow. Oh, that was some assist stuff. Yeah, oh my god. the mana guard, yeah. you know, using his assist to cover certain things. <laughs> I dig it. All right, this should be death. That's a dead Nana. And you, you know, maybe if this stock, yeah. if Sark doesn't get a ton of damage, you know, that might be the start of the comeback for for I fi here. Absolutely. Ooh, great drill up smash though. Love the conversion. I love the one of my favorite parts is seeing the puff, you know, do different drifts during the drill to make the uh, DI ambiguous, right? Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty easy to, to ASDI multi, uh, multi hit moves out normally, but. Puff can fly around and you know <laughs> cross you up. Lots of cool stuff. Oh, there's that rising pound again. Honestly, we haven't seen that too much. I know uh, Hi-Fi said it's outlived a little bit of its usefulness, but it's yeah. been a decent mix-up today. He's done it just enough times that Sharks has to worry about it. You know, whenever Hi-Fi's in front of his shield. Yep, and the Hi-Fi is still threatening with these up tilts. Um, not going to do the up tilt rest. Not this percent. He's right. definitely dead. If that happens so. But still solid conversions you can still get. Yep. It is grabbable, but not uh, not if you do it right. Not at certain heights. And not at shield especially. Yeah. Where's using the most. What a catch. Ooh, alright. Taking care of the Nana. But I mean does it does it mean that much? We'll see. I mean Sharks might be even may even be able to take this stock with just a Sopo. Oh, maybe not. There's the drill grab. Ooh, oh, wow. oof, 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 oof. What a wave land. Going for that fair, usually down smash is the uh, follow up there. Wow. It's like, it doesn't it doesn't feel fair. It feels like Sharks is playing a legitimate high tier character with his Sopo. <laughs> He's outplaying him at almost every turn. But, you know, it's, it's on the high fight to make this, make this happen, right? I mean, Puff is definitely one of the characters to do it. Hasn't hit the up till rest yet, but oh, ooh, yeah. catch. Calling out the landing. Landing drifting in instead of drifting out. And that is gonna be punished by that down smash. It's a lot of adaptations from from Charger with that said. You know, Hi-Fi brought a couple different things to the table. Um, and Charger's ready for them though. Yeah. He's ready. That's uh, that's usually how the sets go. Um, Hi-Fi's been changing the narrative a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, for sure.